Hey, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And you might know us from such things as... Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. <laughs> and Craig Tovey. Probably Storytime with Ryan. Oh! Most likely. You may have gone to my fifth grade play, Dr. Vink and the Fountain of Youth. I was Dr. Vink in the afternoon, the matinee one. My friend Ryan, was a much better singer. He got the night show, which no was way. for the parents. There's no way that these people know you from your fifth grade play. Because a lot of them weren't born. Right. Well, you missed a doozy. I'll tell you that. You probably remember us from Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Toby. And I'm sure the question you're dying to ask is, where have you been, guys? We haven't seen you in months. Some would say 12 of them. First and foremost, there was a pandemic. That put a little snafu in our recording of Storytime. But also, I think the most important thing, Ryan, is like, we are... Two different people. Two. Two different schedules. With two different jobs. Mm hmm Two different families, like two different kids. Mm hmm And they're not on the same schedules either. No, and they're not the same kid either. No, 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 no. So when Craig gets his daughter dressed, my son does not magically dress. I've called him, I've been like, hey, did you get her dressed? Yeah, well, how's Maddox doing? And I'm like, he's still no clothes. I think I'm gonna have to do this myself. Because we don't live together. As a matter of fact, right. Ryan, we don't live close at all. Anymore. No, I live on one side of Los Angeles. And I live all the way on the other. I'll tell you this, in yeah. an ideal situation. Ideal. Where traffic is moving. It's cruising. We are absolute best. Yes. 45 minutes apart. It makes getting together very difficult. So I know you're asking yourself, are you guys back? Now, Ryan, this is unfortunate, mm -hmm. and we're not happy to share this news, but we will no longer be recording new episodes of Storytime with Ryan and Craig for the foreseeable future. We are on a very long hiatus, possibly a permanent, permanent hiatus from reading stories. And we're sorry to have to tell you guys that because, you know, it's not super fun news. This was a very difficult decision for us to come to, and with our schedules and everything, it felt like the right decision. But as we started talking about everything and all the stuff that we've done with Storytime, we realized that we never expected Storytime to last as long as it did. Originally, when we started Storytime with Ryan and Craig, we were like, let's make some video of us reading books to share with our friends and families, and maybe even to share around town and see if there's any interest in somebody creating a TV show where two guys read children's books? And the answer was yes. And the reason the answer is yes is because of you. Storytime has taken us on an incredible journey that we honestly could not have imagined would happen. We now have 50,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, which has gotten millions of views, which is insane to us. You sent us books, you sent us drawings, you sent us fan mail. Fan mail still blows our minds. You've written us about the impacts we've made in your lives, um, in classrooms. Your guys' response to Storytime with Ryan and Craig is what made it last as long as it did. We would have quit years ago. We did not realize that reading these books could have the impact that it has had, and we're so thankful for that opportunity. And the only reason we're stopping now is because we literally can't get together to do this. Like making this video, Ryan, how long have we been trying to get together? We plan to release this video on January 7th. I am just gonna say it's March 9th. <laughs> so we just can't commit to making new episodes, but we have you to thank that it ever became as big as it did. And we're not leaving you empty handed. No, no. Ryanandcraig.com and Storytime with Ryan and Craig on YouTube are never going away. They're staying. And that's right, there's 208 episodes that we've made over the last four years that you can watch whenever you want. Just a fun fact. Yeah. Do you know how many episodes of Seinfeld there were? 270. No, 180. Wait. We've made more episodes than Seinfeld. Wait. We've made more episodes than Seinfeld? Yeah. Craig, did you know there's only 155 episodes of Reading Rainbow? Are you saying we've read more books on our show than LeVar Burton has? And not only am I saying it, it's also true. We know that it can be difficult when a chapter closes or comes to an end, and it can be frustrating or sad or a little bit of both. We know we're feeling those emotions. Absolutely, but we always wanna remind you that there's always another chapter. We don't know what that's gonna bring for you or what it'll bring for us, but just know that Ryan and Craig, we're still buddies, we mm -hmm. still hang out, and we're gonna be reading emails. Yeah, we'll be reading the emails to legatobi at gmail.com. We still look at the Instagram. We might even throw some posts up every once in a while. Pop up and say hi. We just want to let you know 
that this has all been possible because of you. We mean that very literally. Thank you so much for watching Storytime with Ryan and Craig. Your views and you guys being fans has changed our lives. And for the better in every way. And we cannot thank you enough for being fans and being our friends because this has been an amazing journey for us and we can only thank you. And you know what, Ryan, if any of you know any like, you know, Hollywood types, entertainment types, they want to develop a show on Netflix or Hulu, we're up for making story time a show. So yeah. door never closed. Never closed. The chapter could open. But that's it. That's it. So thank you again, everyone. I'm Ryan Lagod. I'm Greg Toby. And this is Storytime signing off.